So hi everybody, uh, this is Michael. Um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm new to YouTube. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a video of my reptile collection that I have so far. I've um, been starting a reptile collection for the past few months. Uh, really come to love the reptiles I currently own. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys my, rep my leopard gecko habitat. Yes, there's going to be some of you people out there that are going to complain about the type of substrate I use. I do use sand, so anyways, I uh, heard the horror stories, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what my leopard gecko habitat looks like, as well as my ball python habitat. But anyways, here we are. This is my ball python, this is, no, this is not my ball python, my mistake. Um, this is my leopard gecko habitat. Uh, as you can see, I use the All Living Things um, Reptile Desert Kit. For them. A little log right here. This is actually a food dish I turned upside down and turned it into a rock because they had, it doesn't hold food very well. Um, this is this uh, desert plant I bought at uh, Whitey's pet store here in Fresno. Uh, this right here is also some. Uh, it's also some of the uh, food. Uh, some of the other plants that I put in here is another plastic plant I got at Whitey's. Uh, this is a food dish I bought at, at Whitey's uh, Pet Store, or PetSmart, anyways. I use both those places for, repti for my reptiles, uh, for reptile decorations. Mainly I go to Whitey's a lot, though, to get my reptiles decorations. This is a grapevine, or a grape stick, that they say we use, to use for so the little guy can crawl up here. And as you can see, he's been crawling up here a lot, since there is a lot of calcium. Deposits right here. At least I hope that's calcium. Anyways, he's uh, a little juvenile Max Snow. He should be in this hide right here. Uh, let's see if he if he's home or not. Are you my home? Oh, hi, little guy. There you are. As you can see, he's just checking it out, going, "What the heck's going on?" But I'm gonna go ahead and leave him alone now. Go on. Go on. Go ahead and put this back down. Let, let him be, since he really does not like that bright light. Um, anyways, I used the a moonlight bulb for his bulb, for his lighting. Um, as you can see, it's gonna look like pretty much like that. It's really a, a good light to use. His uh, his lighting is really awesome. Uh, the food I give him currently right now is I mainly feed him on crickets, but I do occasionally feed him. Maybe one or two wax worms as treats. Uh, currently, I ran out of crickets, so I've been feeding him super worms. And he seems to be really doing okay on those. I did also feed him on mealworms. Those were doing alright, um, as far as the feeding is concerned. Um, he's a really ha healthy eater. He's growing up just fine. He just got done having his first shed in his new environment here. Uh, as far as the calcium sand is concerned, he, I haven't seen him eating any of it, and no evidence of, to find any evidence of that yet. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, he got his little calcium uh, thing in there, as you can see the little calcium deposit. Calcium food in there. Um, he really likes his rock hide. But okay, we're going to go ahead and check on my, uh, lip, on my uh, ball python habitat. Yeah, okay, no, this is my bedroom. Uh, you can see she is currently crawling around in there. This is my ball python habitat. It's an Exoterra. Uh, it's made by Exoterra. I really like it because it has these little two front doors right here. It really works well. Um, anyways, this is what her hide looks like. I put plastic wrap on her for the humidity levels. Um, I keep my light elevated slightly. It makes it a little bit dimmer in there for her. So the light won't bother her too much. Um, also, for humidity reasons, I put a here. As you can see, uh, the, this is her heat lamp. Currently, it's a red bulb heat lamp. Um, she's... This is a... I really made it uh, more natural for her. She really likes this thing right here. Um, and the light. And I use a lot of moss, as you can see. I do line, her up with, line it up with moss. As you can see, I added plenty of uh, moisture to it. 
She's pretty much right now coming up to the window to visit us. See what the heck's going on here. You can see her moving around right there. There she is. Uh, she's coming up over. She's currently four feet long. When I got her, she was learnt, no, uh, only about a foot long when I first got her. You can see that she's really grown. Now, uh, let's see if I can bring her out for you guys. You guys can get, actually get a full view of her and all that. Uh, as you can see, she is really wondering what in the hell is going on. She's, uh, just a regular normal, I think. I'm not sure. You guys go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Uh, but this is what I do as, as far as, uh, my reptile collection right now. I am currently planning on, uh, getting another, uh, Reptile, like I said, added to my collection, it will probably be a bearded dragon. If you guys, uh, for those of you who own bearded dragons, uh, just tell me what I need to do in the comments also. Um, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much my reptile collection. This is all plants, and all the, most, all the plants you see here, I've gotten a PetSmart. Most of them are from PetSmart. Uh, actually, everything in here is from PetSmart. I never, it was because this is where I got her. I do feed her small rats right now. And uh, she really loves them. I always feed them live to her. She doesn't like anything dead too much. But um, all the plants came from uh, PetSmart as well as the enclosure for her. She's absolutely been ha happy and healthy. As you can see, you know, I never did get her from a breeder. So, she's awesome. Anyways, uh, thank you anyway. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, can't wait to hear you guys from the comments.